Godzilla vs. Kong 2, The New Empire is still a mystery, we're not exactly sure what will happen in this movie, but everything suggests that we won't have a completely happy ending, there are rumors circulating that one of the kaijus will die in this battle, based on these rumors, we have developed a theory that Kong might sacrifice himself in this battle, join me until the end of this video, and you will understand everything and be prepared to bid farewell to Kong in the MonsterVerse. Welcome to Nerd Insights, your daily nerd news channel. As a news channel, it is extremely important that you subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to receive the latest news firsthand. Godzilla vs. Kong The new empire takes viewers to a world where Godzilla and Kong have joined forces to face a threat even greater than anything they have encountered before. Throughout the film, Godzilla and Kong find themselves forced to overcome their differences and work together to confront Red Kong who is much larger and more powerful than the two titans combined, Red Kong poses a threat to humanity and the balance of the world. The battle between the titans will be spectacular and action-packed, Godzilla uses his powerful nuclear breath and immense strength to confront Red Kong, while Kong demonstrates his agility and intelligence, seeking weaknesses in the enemy and utilizing the axe made from Godzilla's dorsal plates that he found in the Hollow Earth in the first film. However, Red Kong proves to be a fierce and relentless adversary, showcasing surprising abilities that challenge the unlikely alliance of Godzilla and Kong. It is highly likely that Red Kong possesses nuclear powers similar to Godzilla, as we see his eye glowing in the trailers, and we also know that weapons incorporating parts of Godzilla's body grant tremendous power to their users. Throughout the battle, Kong continues to fight bravely, even though his chances of victory diminish, his dedication to protecting humanity and his allies is unwavering, however, at a critical moment, Red Kong unleashes a powerful blow against Kong, utilizing his powers fused with his special weapon. Injured and exhausted, Kong realizes that his only chance to save Godzilla and the humans is to sacrifice himself, he musters his last bit of strength to hold on to Red Kong allowing Godzilla to concentrate all his power into a final devastating attack, as Red Kong and Kong himself are struck by Godzilla's powerful attack, Kong, already gravely wounded, succumbs to his injuries and falls in battle. Kong's death deeply impacts Godzilla, who vows to honor his ally and friend's sacrifice, together, Godzilla and the humans manage to defeat Red Kong. Although Kong is gone, his sacrifice inspires the unity between humans and titans to protect and preserve the Earth. The story concludes with an emotional tribute to Kong, showcasing how his courage and nobility have left an indelible mark on the history of titans and humanity. Though he is no longer present, his spirit lives on, and his legacy is remembered as a symbol of heroism and sacrifice. So, does this theory of Kong's death make sense to you? Is it highly or less likely to happen? Comment below with your thoughts, and let's discuss our possibilities for this film. And of course, please like this video to help spread the word and enable more people to become aware of this theory. Take care, and until next time, 